Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I've posted, so I'm just, I, I'm, I'm going to post the rest of Angels of Death, and then I'm going to continue on posting videos. I had to take a little break for a bit, and now I'm back. Um, and so, yeah, this is just going to be the rest of the footage I have of Angels of Death, right up until the finale, like, just all of it. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. It's going to be a long video, so, yeah, just enjoy yourself. Floor, and I've checked every nook and cranny besides this room when I was setting traps. Gotta hand it to you. Damn, this makes no sense. Has anybody ever come down here from upstairs before? That can't be, and I mean, anyone besides you would die in a trap, so we'd know. Probably so. So nobody came down from upstairs, huh? Yeah. Something sure doesn't make any sense. Nobody came down from upstairs, that's... Then we must already be on the ground floor. You're crapping me. Now let's smash a wall and get out of here already. Huh? The wall's just caved in, it didn't lead outside. Sorry, maybe I goofed up. What? Think it over again. Nobody came from downstairs. That's uncanny. I don't know, strange. Wait, that's strange. After all, Dr. Danny went in and out of the building. The traps are furnished for this room where all things he brought outside. Huh? What do you mean? Give me a second. I'll think it over. It's just getting goofy. <laughs> Nobody came down to this floor from outside, but Dr. Denny came and went as he pleaded, which means... There's a warp that takes people out. The way out must be on hit this floor. I, I think it's on, on a different floor. There's another way out on this floor. On this floor or on... What do you mean by that? When you came, were there other killers, Kathy, Eddie, already in this building? Uh... Oh, those weirdos, I barely spoke to them since they're all freaks. Just as I suspected, which means... I'm the last one to come to this building. In that case... Go downstairs? Zach, let's go downstairs. What? Downstairs. There must be a, a way out downstairs on floor B2. That makes no freaking sense. Are you psychic or something? There wasn't a need for a way out to be inside this room. In other words, my floor, this floor, should be the very last one made. In that case, when this room was made, there was already a way leading outside. You and I surely brought in here from there. Dr. Denny, who I met outside, had this room built by the Reverend later on. So I think it wasn't linked to at one floor one floor, one F. The fact that I've never seen anyone come downstairs is proof. I'm not sure what to make, I'm not sure to, of what to make of all this. We need to go downstairs, right? Right. Plus I recall that the switch to go downstairs is somewhere on this floor. That should be all we need. If you say so, then I'm game. Let's move out. Okay. The switch should be somewhere around the music box. Okay. Oh, I was just going to go the long way around. Oh, come on. Is the Reverend down there? Okay, what gives? Let's head downstairs. Zack, it's alright if I go downstairs alone? Huh? What the hell for? This way, it'll also be the last time I come here. So I, I thought it would be a good place to say goodbye. Why are you going by yourself? It's embarrassing having someone else watching, I guess. Maybe that's why. 
Just so you know, I slaughter those mangy mutts. Did you? Sounds like something right up your alley. I'll keep watching, so hurry up and do do what you gotta do. Okay, I'll be right back. Ha, I still wanna know the Reverend is probably gonna tell us. Plane, does that mean the lid's open? Send it on permanent seer. He's right, they're gone. Greetings, Rachel Gardener. Why? My handgun's gone. I must have dropped it in the living room. Calm down. No harm shall come to you. Then what do you want from me? Oh, I merely desired to ask you this, this some questions. That is all. Rachel Gardener? Oh. Rachel Gardener, Zach was not your god after all, correct? Rachel Gardener, Zack was not your god after all, correct? Yes. But I've come to terms with that. Yes, or it would seem. But is that something you truly accept in your heart? Zack and I aren't gods. We just swore oath to each other. Precisely. Zack is no longer your god. No longer is he absolute. You have made Zack into a being that is not an angel nor a god. How shall I put it? A being who will grant your wishes without questions is no more. What? Twas an oath forged with one who is not God, betrayed in his inconvenience. Nevertheless, if you have a faith that your oath is absolute, then how does it differ from any God? I never really thought of it as absolute. Is that so? I certainly do have faith in Zach. That much is true. But our sworn oath and faith in one another is something we each decide in our hearts. Therefore, even if that is betrayed, it's my heart that has faith in him. My heart is mine alone to bear. I prepare to accept something different to God. I see. And yet you desire your own death. Yes, I do. How can you alter your beliefs as such, yet your desire remains unchanged? It's not that I myself have changed as a person. I just learned to accept myself, that's all. And I no longer want to forgive that side of me, myself. No one's left to forgive me. Which is why I wish to die. I can't go on living. So you have willed this on upon yourself? Yes, and... The rest I better keep secret. Tis a shame, twere as if you simply renounce God. Oh, um. You need not stare at me, so tis too late for that now. I have one final question. Who are you, Rachel Gardner? Please stop asking me that over and over. I am me, nothing more, nothing less. Oh, I see. You speak as if you stand with Zack as an equal. That too may not be entirely mistaken. Child who is neither an angel nor a witch. There is nary a doubt in my mind that you are indeed Rachel Gardner. Yes. Is that all? If we're done here, then let me press the activation switch for the return elevator. Yes, do as you must. You won't stop me? Did I not make myself clear? I shan't stand in your way. Apart from that, Rachel Gardner, twould not hurt to have a little grace. So I switch to the bottom of the music box. If I press this, it worked. I gotta get back to Zach. Reverend, I'm going now. Very well, I shan't stop you. Do as you must. Reverend, is there a way out on beef, floor beef, too? Do you think I would tell you? I've answered many of your questions. I think it's only fair that you answer mine, Reverend. Indeed. Check the stained glass windows. The 
uh, the cathedral on B2. Okay. Oh, come to think of it, I never did say goodbye to this place. I'm sorry. Farewell. Time to go. Zach, now we can get back to B2. Let's head to the elevator that brought us here. Right behind you. What the hell took you so long? The Reverend was in the basement. What? He's still around? But he didn't do anything to interfere. What's the story with that guy anyways? Ah. What is it this time? I gotta go to the living room. I may have dropped my hang on there. Ah, back then? I'll scope it out and head down to B2. Okay. Oh, the bodies are going to be missing. Wow. Wow. He's gone again? Oh, that sneaky bastard. A monster, am I? He's the real monster. Doctor. Crap. Once we... Once we pick up your handgun, let's get the hell out of here. Found it. But this won't cut it. You found it. What's wrong? The trigger is broken. Danny. It's useless, right? Yeah. Oh, well, let's get going. Hey, Zach. Huh? Were, al were arrows flying through here? It looks like they didn't activate when you were chasing me. Don't worry, they were flying at me before. Huh? Hey, don't tell me that bastard went below. Probably so. Hell, I wish I would have sliced him into two. Probably should have. I mean, you beat the crap out of him. You might as well have just sliced him. I'm out of coffee. Man, my face. It's white. Ah, there we go. You ran into the preacher guy in the basement, right? Yeah. Didn't you say something about saying goodbye or something, did you? It was really short, but yeah. Is everything over there yours? There's, there's things I picked up since I came here, too. Oh, then they aren't really pers Good question. I tried making them mine by sewing them and patching them together. But Dolls never answered when I'm spoken to, so I don't know if they were really mine. Though I cared about them, so I said goodbye. Hmm. <laughs> oh, and the music box is originally mine. When I was young, I guess it was the last thing they bought for me. I really loved its music. If you want it, then why didn't you take it with you? Oh, damn it! Ow. Oh. There's no need anymore. All the music and my memories for it are all in my head. As long as I have that, then I don't need anything else. If that's okay with you, then that works. If that's okay with you, I don't have a dumb voice. Yeah. All right, we're almost to the ground floor. Let's move. Okay, did that bring us right to B two? Oh no. Okay, I we're back. We're back. You're right, man. This crap's complicated, <laughs> right? <sighs> Where was? I'm pretty sure he said something about the Carthadel stained glass. It's nothing. It's another stained window. Stained glass windows in the middle is the biggest. I want to check an organ of someone in the way. Zach. You need the organ out of the way, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. It weighs so frick- uh, It weighs a frickin' ton. I keep messing up the lines. Hey, a little, a little help here. Stop staring and help. Ah. Don't ah me. Get your butt over here and help me push. You got it. Oh man, my arm feels like jello. Sure was heavy. Hey, is there really a way out here? I'm not sure. 
The Reverend, I wouldn't take him for a liar. He was nice enough to take me to the floors below, too. Ah, uh, even so. Okay, fine, let's just give it a look. A keyhole. A keyhole. Yeah, so there must be a way... Uh, so there must be a way out be on the other side. But it's locked. No key? Where could it be? Hey, Ray. Zack, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah. Way ahead of you. Stand back. Doors aren't for opening, they're for smashing. <clears throat> wow, look at all these items. To Actually, there's an item right over there to pick up. I was about. And that one also looks. Oh, maybe they're not items. Sorry, it's old. Why was I skipping those? Is it now? Wow. Well, I don't know what that said, but um, I'll, I'll I'll pan it just so you guys can read it. Ooh, what a terrible noise! Man, these stairs go on forever. You're right. I just remembered. Oh, what is it this time? When I came here, I was blindfolded the whole time. It's vague, but I have no memory of going down. Or I, I have memories of going down a really long staircase. Which means there sh stairs should lead us to the surface in no time. No kidding. It's about damn time. I thought it was on... Okay, so B2, not B5. I got that messed up. Uh, tell me when we reach the top. So I can puke. Let's take a breather once we're out. Seriously, what terrible noises. Let's hurry then. Right behind you. But that means... Ugh, that means Danny's up here. What the hell did you fall for? <laughs> I tripped on the stairs. It hurts. You can't be tired. You slept like a log. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm fine. Congrats for acting like a normal human being. Huh? Let's go and watch your step, damn it. She smiled. That's that she looked normal. Hey, we never did find that Danny bastard. Don't you think we should have uh, found the bastard and finished him off? But I have no clue of his whereabouts. Not only that, he's been a res resident of this building for who knows how long. So n he has no doubt knows the building like the back of his hand. Hanging around here is dangerous. God damn it, looks like I got no choice. Zack? You know how you said earlier in the elevator that you're, hap you're, you're happy empty-handed? Here, take this. Is this your knife? Are you sure it's okay to, for me to use it again? It's yours. Huh? There's a chip in it, so I'm not uh, sure it'll be any use. But it's better than being empty-handed, right? Thanks. Besides, once we get out of here, it's in the bag. Let's get going. Yeah. Huh? What's that? Oh, I thought it was the dubstep button. It sure sounded like the dubstep button. The self-destruct sequence has been initiated. Detonation will, will commence from the basement level. Zack, we gotta get out of here. Ah, oh, crap. What the hell's happening? The building's going to explode. We gotta escape the building, or the building will collapse. It sounds like it just did. Yeah. Oh, no. The debris. At this rate, we'll end up burned alive or burned in rubble. Zack. Zack. Zack, the debris all around us. We're trapped. What are we going to do? No way in hell am I going to be burned alive. Zack. Zack. 
This way. Zack. This way we can get through here, huh? Zack, I know you can smash through here. So I know you got this one. Bad news, Ray. My, uh, my legs are frozen. Oh, the flames. Okay, whatever. What are you doing? Sure, it's hot. It sure is hot and it burns. Obviously. Zack, listen to me. I'll tell you what, what you can smash. And I'll find a way f for us out of here. It's alright, we'll survive this. And move. I got this. Oh man. Sorry, I always get antsy at the end of a video game where it's like, I just, I want it to end because I want to see the ending, but this is taking forever. We just walked up three steps. Let's go, Zack. <laughs> you got it. Let's go, Ray. I'll smash anything in our way. Uh, okay, I guess we could die at this time. The basement floors will collapse in five minutes. Okay. Zack, this one. Nice. Oh, crap. Found it. Ne this next one is this. Zack. It hasn't been five minutes yet. Can't go any further this way, huh? Easy as pie. What? Oh, uh, wait. You know what's coming. Get ready. Oh, that was a close one. Not again. It's just easier chalking you instead. What's your face all goofy for? Time to move. Nice. Ah. Uh. Oh, boy. Okay, wait for it. Don't stand there, that's where the fire is. Yeah, I know it's not breakable. Here. Zack, break this. Hey, out of the way. Huh? Damn, that was a close one. Hang on, Zack, I'll take care of the fire. Knock it off, no need. You told me I can break it. Then, there's no way in hell I can't break it, right? Right, Ray? Aw, oh, look at him overcoming his fear. See? You're right. Yeah. Let's move. Um. Zach, it looks breakable. Careful, though. It looks rigid. How the hell do I careful break something? Alright, just break it however, how you always do. I, did it just... Son of a... Zach? The blade cracked. Is it broken? Nah, it should be fine. Let's just get the hell out of here. Ooh, boy. Oh, come on. What? <sighs> hey, Ray. Think I can smash through this breeze? Oh, uh... Ah! I got this. So just say the magic word, Ray. You got this. Leave it to me. Took you long enough. Yep. Yeah, there goes that. Zach, your size. Whoa, she's spent. Oh, well, I picked it up around here after all. Anyways, I'll just find a replacement when, we're at, when we get out of here. First things first, let's get out of here. Move it. I don't think that would have taken anyone five minutes. That was... 
uh, pretty good. Nice. Pretty smooth. Good, we made it. Man, this damn building was absolutely aft up to the very end. But still, you did good, Rachel. Couldn't have done it without you. The same goes for me. Zack. Yeah? It's the way out. We did it. Now we can finally leave this dump. Zack. What? Since once we're outside, you'll kill me, right? What are you asking me that? What are you asking me now for that? Zack, is this what you want as well? See, my desire to die is unchanged, but... But... If possible, I want you to desire it. I want my death to be desired. Though I long for death, the thought of me dying alone suddenly makes me feel so desolate on the inside. The thought of you deeply desiring my death makes me truly happy. Although you did, just give me your knife, so I feel like I'm being selfish. I gave you that knife earlier for one reason. So you'd survive long enough for me to kill you. Till then, I never did a single thing for anyone in my life. No way in hell would I ever swear an oath for someone I don't desire. You mean it? Damn it, will you just give it a rest? How many times do I gotta say? That's that you hate liars. Come on, what are you com completing my sentences for? When the time comes, make sure you're ready to show up. The, the, show me the face I want to see. You suck at smiling more than anyone I know. You got it. Guess who? Ooh, I didn't see that coming. Ray. Ray. What the hell? It sounds like it said, sorry for beating me, Ray. B. U. Wait for it. Sorry. I don't know. Zack. <laughs> oh, how dreadfully terrible. What a horrible mess. Oh, what? Did he crawl all the way here? Guess who blew up the building? It's just a matter of time until flames engulf the upstairs. You bastard. Huh, aren't you a hot-blooded despite being unarmed? What a pity. You promised to each other to go unfilled. Zack. Zack, I'm so sorry. Uh, wh what the hell for? Hey, snap out of it. I made a promise to you that I could keep. Sorry. Cut the bullshit. Didn't I tell you I hate liars? Hey, stay with me. I'm not gonna let you go. You're trapped. Helpless, powerless. And best of all, Zack, I won't let you kill Rachel. How does it feel, you guys? How it feels to have your dreams crushed? I just love to know. Then after that, how about we all off ourselves? Shit. Crap. Zack, stop lying. Sorry. For F's sakes. Don't make me a liar. I can't let you die on me. No, Zack. It's okay. You were always there for me. But it doesn't need to every time. It doesn't need to every time. What are you saying? Haha, there's nothing more entertaining than a helpless monster. 
Is he standing right now, or is he still crawling? Was he always... You know, I can't tell. No. He's no monster. But he's no god either. Zack is human. You're human, Zack. Which is why... Which is why... You needn't always devote yourself to me. Human. So what, hey? What's that supposed to mean? You don't seek devotion, Rachel. But I devoted you... You... I... But I've devoted my all. My everything to you. The food, clothing, toys, even the floor itself was all for you. Yes, I gave you a place to thrive, and now you deny that? I'm sorry, Doctor, but none of this is what I wanted. Then what did Zack... Uh, then what did Zack give you that's so special? Just some trash, trashy knife? Or was it that ridiculous oath? An oath to ensure your death. Absolute lunacy. Despite the fact I tried to spare you li your... <laughs> Doctor... I didn't want to live that way. The truth is, I wanted to be I wanted to, to be desired in life and desire in death, even for a fleeting moment. I realized that Zack and I made an oath to str to strove to leave this bay. That was enough for me. Then at least show me your despair. After all, I just snatched away your oath. Shut up. Oh, do be quiet. Let me finish. Doctor, you haven't snatched it away. This oath, it was sworn by Zack and I. An oath can't be stolen by someone else. Ah, ah, ah. Even if it's never fulfilled, it doesn't matter. Since it's ours. This I know. Wait. I just can't accept that. Zack. I'll bear this oath. So please don't think of yourself as a liar. Zack. Our promise doesn't have to be fulfilled. Ray. 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 Haha. <laughs> Any more? Oh, Rachel. If you intend to live the rest of your life with those invasive, distrusting peepers, I thought that it wouldn't matter that we can't live together. Yes, it would remain in isolation forever. I could die now a happy man. Yet, why do you insist on distancing yourself from isolation to the very last? You ruined it. So it's all over. Your desire and Zack's, all of it, everything. I'll put an end to them along with my own desires, too. Is he crawling or walking? Ooh, that's a twist. What are you doing? I say, you haven't taken your indulgence too far. You have taken your indulgence too far. I'm not finished yet. I must take care of them. Ooh. Uh. Oh, Zack, can you still move? You bastard. Say your effing prayers. Save your strength for leaving this place. Mind your own beeswax. A human will die from this much blood loss. What's the point of going outside if she dies? Uh, Rachel Gardner is still quite alive. Take her outside now and she will be saved. What do you mean? Find out for yourself? Seriously? Is this chick immortal or something? This building could collapse at any moment, Zack. I very much like the Reverend. Not gonna lie, he just seems like an interesting dude. Oh boy. Naha. Uh -huh. 
This place is no more. Tis an exception, end to his tale, would you not say, Daniel? Reverend, why? I admit it was selfish, but yes, it was for your sake too. Still, my actions were not mistaken in the light, least. It was for my happiness and my meddling in the matters of those who upset the laws of this building. Should have benefited you in some way. Oh, Danny, twas helpful indeed. I was able to observe something quite fascinating. I only believe Zack to be a chrysalin, winged, a chrysalin winged being. Those wings, however, had faded away. Crystalline wings? Did you truly think of him as an angel? Indeed. He was pure-hearted and, and bloodshed was all he had ever known. Nevertheless, the blade Zack wielded for that very purpose came to serve another, and consequently, his blade was broken. Zack has lost his wings and is now human. Well, tis better to say he was human all along, perhaps. That's merely a, just a coincidence. Ow! What is more intriguing is that the one that showed me that was a child I condemned as a witch, Rachel Gardner. Rachel? Twas a radical transformation and quite telling. And she was merely a selfish, contra contradicted, riddled little girl. In hindsight, per perhaps twas I who attempted to strip Zack of his humanity. If that's true, then why, why did you shoot me? My monitoring and experiment have already run their course. My role as the eyes of God has ended, and this shall serve as my inconsequential attentiment. Reverend, after all this time, whatever for? Danny, you are the one who brought that girl. Desiring to bestow souls instead of reeves them, did you not attempt to become the god of that child? Yet, Danny, you are not a god. And you also knew this, did you not? But what else is there for me then? There, when I saw Rachel's eyes, they're unvolving and full of such despair. I longed to shower those peepers with love for all eternity. It was then that my once insignificant life gained meaning again. I can accomplish anything to make it come true. But I can no longer love those peepers. I mean, if she isn't alone, who will love such an ugly wrench like myself? Oh, Daniel. By showering her with love, you would only desire to someday be loved yourself. No, that's not it. Danny, we are merely human. That seems humans were the only being here from the start. Yet humans created gods. Or humans create gods, angels, and even humans themselves. In fact, perhaps that was true for Rachel Gardiner. And those who destroyed them are human as well. Oh, Reverend. What is it that you have seen within the, the humans here? Well... Regretfully, what I always see, blindness, ugliness, and beauty, nothing more. Oh, and Daniel, I feel the same can also be said for you. I only realize this now, despite you staying, despite you stay here being for longest, Despite you stay here being the longest, forgive me. My time has drawn to an end. Now, you choose to call me beautiful? Indeed. Uh, I don't think I saved. Hang in there. We're almost outside. Don't go dying on me now. Wait. Can I save? Yeah, I don't. I didn't save. Thank you. Ha! 
Hey, we're outside. Take her outside and she will be saved. What did he mean by that? What am I supposed to do now? Hey, wake up. Hey, Ray. Wake up, are you just gonna die on me? For a sake. Open your eyes. So when that bastard preacher said she'd be saved, this is what he meant, eh? Well, this place did light up like the 4th of July. So that's how it is, huh? Ray. Don't forget that I swore an oath to you. I will kill you. There's the bird, or there is a bird. This was, uh, I like the ending. I'm still mad that they didn't explain the one thing I was actually, like, the one thing that was kind of left open was, how did Ray get, how did Ray get to the, uh, what am I trying to say? Get to the bottom floor. Actually, by the looks of it, I don't even think they were underground the whole time. Date redacted. Rachel Gardiner, a girl who vanished during quest questioning regarding the Gardiner homicide, was found near a burning building in city redacted state redacting and taken into protective custody. Found accompanying her was Isaac Foster, a suspect presumed to be in involved in a string of murders which have made headlines in the past years. This time, Foster was charged and arrested for kidnapping. And though he denies these allegations, he has gone on record to admit the murder allegations are partly true. Furthermore, the body of a man was found in the burnt remains of the building, though authorities are unable to, to identify it. Authorities are investigating the possible involvement of a new cult in the recent building fire, though an explosion at the time of the fire caused the building's basement to collapse, hampering progress. Furthermore, due to allegations against Isaac Foster as a suspect surfacing in the Gardiner, Gardiner homicide, the case has now been reopened. Meanwhile, the daughter of, of Mr. and Mrs. Gardiner, Rachel, who denied allegations against Foster for kidnapping, was transferred to a, a rehab facility. Due to an exhibiting signs of mental delirium, she is receiving counseling from a medical specialist. For the crimes of serial murderers and kidnapping Isaac Foster was sentenced to death. So Rachel. 
Is there anything you feel uneasy about? No, not really. So you're sleeping well at night, I take it. Yeah, I see. Well then, oh, I didn't. I think this is the lady actually. Well then, that should be enough for today, which would make sense. Uh, my apologies for being late. I had a session with another child that ran over time. It's fine. I'll take you to your room. I can manage by myself. Now we can just let you do that. We can we? Sorry, but okay. This is like the room we started in, right? Oh my, what a beautiful moon today. Right, Rachel, isn't it lovely night? Lovely night? Yes, on days like these, like this, it's best just to hop right into bed. Sweet dreams await you. Okay, let's go. What is it, Rachel? Nothing. I see. Good. Yeah. Rachel, are you scared? Huh? Your condition has improved dramatically during your time here. The person who was with you, that killer, you're no longer obsessed with him like you used to be. So I'll tell you just to put it, to put you at ease. It's sort of against the rules, but don't tell her. That killer is to be executed. I see. Is that so? This has probably came as quite a shock to you, though now you can sleep with a peace of mind tonight. Yeah. Well, let's get going then. Now behave yourself and go to sleep, all right? The truth is that my nights were always restless, and my mind was uneasy. Tonight was supposed to be another sleepless night. All I could do was shut my eyes. That sounds... it's coming from the window. What's that sound, Rachel? It's, it's not someone who works here, then. Only one body was found. I, is it Dr. Danny? I don't know. Rachel, open up! Ray. Rachel, what's going on in there? Oh no, I gotta call the police. I... <sighs> I 
get back. Oh. I guess Isaac Foster got free. I don't know. I... I... Ta-da! Zack? Oh man, there you go again making that boring face. There you go again making that boring face. Oh Zack, there you go again making that dumb voice. Huh? How did I what? I mean, you're supposed to be in prison. Prisons are made to be broken out of, right? But, back then, I said I'd bear the outcome of our oath. So, what about it? I mean, it's not like, it's, it's not, it's not yours to bear anyhow. Zack, so, you still want to kill me? This is me you're talking to here. I never lose sight of something that I want, right? Hurry up. There ain't much time left. Or did you forget? No, Zack. I'd never forget. Not in a million years. I mean, it's an oath. An oath you and I swore together. Now that's more like it. Hurry, this way! Come with me, Ray. Okay. Okay. Ready? Everyone push together. Hey, Zack. Please, kill me. Then, stop your blubbering and s then stop your blubbering and smile. I still want to know why she was at the bottom floor anyways, right? Like, I guess it's because she found the Bible um, and uh, the Reverend put her down there as a sacrifice because she believed in another god. But it kind of sounded like, like I'm probably mis remembering this wrong, but it kind of sounds like, um, well, uh, I'm probably remembering this wrong, but it sure seemed like I probably didn't react too much during all the sad parts, but I I feel like <laughs> I feel a little distraught. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this series. I I did. This was the first series I have completed on my channel, and it means a lot if you guys stuck around the whole time, or if you're watching this in the future. Um, I hope I stay long enough to make some sort of relevancy. Um, if you like the series, uh consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me. And I hope there are more games. Uh, I hope there's more games just like it that I get to play. Uh, love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.